Hello guys, it is Silent 9 and what I have for you guys today is the best ways to get gold legit on Red Dead Online. Now this video is more for new players. If you are an OG player, then you're probably going to know every single one of these things I'm going to tell you. But you might learn something new. You never know, but this is definitely more directed towards the new players. And a lot of new players might not know about this stuff, you know. So definitely watch this video until the end, guys. Because I'm going to show you guys the best way to see gold legit on Red Dead Online. And if you guys do like Red Dead Online videos on glitches and legit content, definitely make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because I will be providing you guys with that type of content. I'm going to post more glitches in definitely the coming weeks and i'm just gonna be posting more legit content as well i'm basically just gonna be posting just a lot of red dead online content so if you like red dead online definitely hit that subscribe button and drop a like because you don't want to be missing out on these videos so one of the best ways to make gold on red dead online is through stranger missions and they're just really good to make gold with now there is definitely a lot of stranger missions and if you really grind these out guys you can make a ton of gold and you can use that gold to get the rolls because the new players won't have the rolls and these stranger missions are definitely a really good way to get the gold to get the rolls so definitely give these a try now i am going to put a chart up on the screen and what this tells you is how long you want to wait to get the max amount of gold guys definitely if you're doing stranger missions make sure you look at this chart and just figure out which stranger mission you're in and just look at the timer now i'm gonna go over and how to kind of use this exactly and you know what to do so what we're gonna go over is we're gonna go over the delivery money bags mission that's exactly what we're going to be going over and if you look in the chart it's right there and simply if you look to your right that's a mission timer it has 11 minutes and if you look to your right again it says the turn in time is 30 seconds and that's how you guys get the max amount of gold so look at this chart look what stranger mission you're in and just simply look at you know what time you have to simply wait so you can get the max amount of gold now with the ones with the two in it like the two timers you guys want to look at the three minute one and just the one that has the least amount of time and just make sure you guys look at the one that's the least amount of time because if you look at the one that has a longer amount of time then you're not gonna get as much gold so for example the boat thief one if you look in the mission timer it says 15 minutes and then turn in time it says three minutes and six minutes you want to go for the three minute one instead of the six minutes and you want to hand it in in under three minutes to get the max amount of gold and just look through this chart look at what you have and just hand it in under that time and you're going to get the max amount of gold for that mission and that's how you guys really get the most amount of gold with each mission this is definitely a really good way to get gold and if you're a new player definitely try out these stranger missions look at this chart stay in the stranger missions for the time that it says to stay in it and get a ton of gold guys grind these out and you will be able to get those rolls and you can definitely get more content and just unlock more stuff on red dead with the stranger missions huge huge just way to get gold so definitely try those out now the next way and the next best way to get gold on red dead online legit is by your dailies this is a very very good way to get gold and that's how most players are getting gold that's how most og players are getting gold because it's such a good way now when you do start out you are only going to be getting 0.20 per daily challenge and that's because you haven't built up a streak yet and what you want to do is you want to do at least one daily challenge per day you do not have to do all of them you just have to do one and you want to build up your streak after you do these for a few weeks you're going to be getting more gold you're not going to be getting 0.20 you're going to go up to 0.50 after you do max out your streak but make sure you do keep on doing this because if you do not continue to do your streaks and do a daily challenges each and every day then your daily challenge will reset and you will go back to point 20. so with this what you guys want to do is simply just log in every day do at least one daily challenge and just keep on doing that so you build up your streak and you get the max amount of gold from doing this and you guys can get point 50 gold per daily challenge and these daily challenges are super easy there's one where you just simply 
feed you a horse. There's just one where you simply just smoke a cigar. These are very easy to do, guys. These will just take two seconds. There's ones where you just visit a place and they're just really, really easy to do. These do not take long at all. You literally can do these within an hour. You can do every single daily challenge within an hour if you're fast enough. Definitely very, very fast. And I'm going to go over exactly what I mean by building up your gold and just going on your streak. That's what I'm going to go over with you guys so you guys can understand this, especially if you're a new player, because this is a really good way to get gold. All right, so if you guys do these for seven days in a row, and it's only one, you don't have to do all of them. Just do one daily challenge for each day. If you do that, then, then it's going to go up times 1.5 so that is what you get with seven days now if we do these 14 days in a row then it's going to go up by two now if you do these for 21 days in a row it goes up to 2.5 and then if you do these for 28 days in a row you get a treasure map and it is just still at 2.5 so definitely you guys can get a ton of gold if you guys build up these streaks and you guys can get a treasure map which you can get gold from that so definitely do your daily challenges each day and these can be so simple like i said guys like like i said literally there is just ones that are super simple like feed your horse like i said and it's just really good way to get gold so do this asap guys if you haven't done this already so that is the next best way to get gold on red dead online and that is just an amazing way now the next way to get gold on red dead online now this isn't a crazy way to get gold but you can still get gold with this and it is just simply the pvps you can do the race series you can do the takeover series and the shootout series and sometimes they do have a boost the gold in just some weeks they do a boost with those and with this week it is the horse race i think it's two times boost i'm not too sure it might be three times but that is a thing as well and that can definitely help you get more gold if you do those certain things that give you the boost but that's not every week but this is definitely another way to get gold i would rather if i were you i would rather do the stranger missions or daily challenges but if you guys want to do this go right ahead this is another way to get gold and you can get a good amount of gold with this as well so that's definitely all of the best ways to get gold without the rolls. Now, I'm going to talk to you guys about the rolls now. Now, there is a roll that does get you a good amount of gold, and it is the bounty roll. Now, I'm going to go over the bounty roll and show you guys exactly how you can get a ton of gold. So in order to get the bounty roll, you do need 15 gold bars. So you can use the other ways that I talked about to get the 15 gold bars. But once you guys do have 15 gold bars, then you can get this roll. Now, once you guys get this roll, you're going to be able to do bounties. Now, with these bounties, if you do end up killing the bounty, in order to get the most amount of gold, you have to wait until there's 30 seconds on the timer. That's exactly how you get the most amount of gold if you kill the bounty. So make sure you do that. So do not just kill the bounty and hand it in because you won't be getting the most amount of gold. If you want the most amount of gold, just go right ahead and if you do end up killing it, just make sure you end up waiting at least until there's 30 seconds on the timer and go on 29. And when it hits 29, that's when you guys want to hand in that bounty. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Now, if the bounty is alive, you guys want to wait around 30 seconds as well. That's what you guys want to do. So look at the timer and wait 30 seconds. And that is another thing as well. So wait 30 seconds. Once after it hits 30 seconds, once at like 29, that is when you guys want to put in the bounty and that is really the only roll that gives you gold none of the other ones do just this one does so make sure you do end up keeping that in mind this is the only one so definitely that's the best ways to get gold on a red dead on a line guys there's stranger missions there's daily challenges which is a really good one pvps and bounties now i definitely recommend you guys to grind these out get as much gold as possible before the update like the next one so you can get the next roll when it comes out when it hopefully comes out actually i don't know when it's gonna come out hopefully it comes out this year but uh, there hasn't been a roll since six months unfortunately so i really hope it's gonna be sometime this year but i definitely recommend you guys to grind these out get as much gold as possible and save it up for the next roll 
And if you don't have any rules, definitely do stranger missions, dailies, and some PvP stuff so you guys can get the gold and get the rolls. So that's what it's for this video, guys. I just want to tell you guys the best ways to get gold legit on Red Dead Online. These ways will always be there, and you will always get gold with these ways. Glitches do eventually get patched, but these will never get patched because these are legit. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and hopefully you learned something new. And if you're a new player, hit that subscribe button. And there will be more videos like this on just tips and just legit ways to get gold, money, and all that good stuff. And I'm going to be posting glitches. So if you like Red Dead Redemption 2 and just Red Dead Online, hit that subscribe button. I guarantee, literally guarantee, that you will like this channel. Hands down, you will like this channel. So that's what it's. Definitely, please like, comment, and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today. Because don't be a ninja, you have to be silent. I'm called Silent Nine. But anyways, that's what it. Peace out. See you in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Peace out.